Hi, Jason with the Metal Roofing Channel. Today we will be doing the PK2 Peak Installation Detail. Okay, so we start off by making sure the deck is clean and ready for installation, and you would want to install the underlayment per the uh, manufacturer's instructions. The peak flashing is then placed on the roof deck and fastened with number 10 by one inch pancake head fasteners at six inches on center. We like to have a minimum four inch lap with sealant in the laps on your peak flashing and typically a minimum flashing length of 24 inches. Okay, then we're gonna install the panels by engaging the panel hem over the nose of the peak flashing. We're gonna carefully crimp that hem closed using hand seamers, and then we apply a bead of sealant in the vertical seam of the panel before installing the next panel. And now we will do the actual install. All right, here we are at our uh, peak mock-up, uh, the roof deck, and we've installed the underlayment per the manufacturer's installation instructions. They should recommend uh, turning your underlayment uh, and wrapping that corner. The next thing that goes on is the peak flashing. This is the bullnose style PK2 peak flashing, and that'll be attached with the number 10 by one inch pancake head fastener at six inches on center. We recommend marking or pre-drilling your flashings make attachment go a lot easier. So once again, we're, we're driving our 10 by one pancake head fasteners. Uh, make sure not to overdrive those or uh, lose, have them spin out into your deck. Okay, one note to be aware of. If the face of your peak flashing exceeds two and a half inches, then this must be installed on a cleat. So the next step would be to uh, create the, the hem on your panel. So we just measure that off, we come back an inch, we fold that and fold the field of the panel back, we cut off the rib, uh, but you do wanna leave a little bit of your uh, female rib to end cap the top of the panel. So I'm just gonna mark one inch. on both sides. So I cut down, you can, you can cut this in a small sh angle, right to there. Get that flat, flattened out, and finish it off. Same thing, I'm gonna cut up this, but we're gonna leave the we're gonna leave the inside of the rib for the end cap. And then we'll tighten that up after we hem that over. Okay, so we have our field of the panel notched down to one inch. Take a bar fold. Uh, so the bar folds on and now we just fold that down. And this will be 90 degrees. If you're thinking about the overall panel, we're only showing a short panel here, but this could be a, you know, 10, 20 foot long panel. Odds are the eave is also gonna have your bull nose style flashing on it. So you wouldn't be able to do a full hem because your eave has the full hem. So we're engaging and then uh, folding this after installation. This gets folded tight to the peak flashing. We are uh, accounting for all the thermal movement. The expansion and contraction takes place down at the eave assembly. So once we have the panel hooked on, then we're just gonna, or to the 90, then you're just gonna take go by hand and hem that under a little tighter, get that folded under. So vertical sealant is applied before installing the next panel. First panel's installed, we, we install the second panel. And now we have the end cap here. So for the end cap, you're just folding, you're just folding that tab over. 
And then you can trace, trace that, open it up or cut it off. It's just a real quick ending to help prevent moisture intrusion through the panel rim. All right, and then we just give that a little tap. Gently. Not to mar the paint finish, just get that finished off and kept off. Okay, this completes the PK2 peak detail. If you'd like to see this detail or any of our other installation details, please visit SheffieldMetals.com and they can be found in our installation manuals. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.